Last I checked, you have uh, just under 200,000 Bitcoin. You take a look at the new spot Bitcoin ETFs. All told, they own over 700,000. Of course, a lot of that is the Grayscale Trust, but a lot of that, too, 200,000 or so, is from the nine new ETFs on the market. With this new competition, is it going to become harder to source new Bitcoin for MicroStrategy to buy? Well, I think it's a very virtuous cycle. The spot ETFs have opened up a gateway for institutional capital to flow into the Bitcoin ecosystem. The demand uh, for the spot ETFs, especially the new ones, net, has been far in excess of the supply from the miners every day. In some cases, up to eight to ten times as much demand as supply every day. Um, this, is, uh, this is a rising tide that's going to lift all boats. MicroStrategy has got a levered uh, operating strategy for Bitcoin. But um, if you look at what these spot ETFs are doing, they're facilitating the digital transformation of capital. And every day, hundreds of millions of dollars of capital is flowing from the traditional analog ecosystem into the digital economy. And uh, to your point, I mean, actually, Gemini co-founder Cameron Rinklevoss, he tweeted last week that the demand from the new Bitcoin ETFs, uh, it's at least 10 times as much as the number of new tokens that are actually being minted by those miners. So really interesting supply demand dynamics going on there. But let's talk about your existing holdings. As I mentioned in the intro, now worth around $10 billion. You have paper gains of about 70% or so, which a lot of people uh, would like to see that sort of return. At any point, would you sell? When would it make sense to take profits there? Well, I, I've famously said I'm going to be buying the top forever. Uh, Bitcoin is is the exit strategy. It, it is the, the uh, strongest asset. So what we see right now is the Bitcoin has just emerged as a trillion dollar asset class. And it's alongside uh, names like Apple and Google and Microsoft. But the difference between Bitcoin and the Magnificent Seven is Bitcoin's an asset class. It's not a company. There's not a lot, enough room in the capital structure of those companies to hold $10 trillion or $100 trillion worth of capital. So Bitcoin's competing against gold, which is 10x what it is right now. It's competing against the S&P index. It's competing against real estate, a $100 trillion plus asset class as a store of value. So we believe capital is going to keep flowing from those asset classes into Bitcoin because Bitcoin is technically superior to those asset classes. And that, that being the case, there's just no reason to sell the winner to buy the losers.